What, what are you feeling right now? So many emotions. Um, I think mostly overwhelmed okay. with happiness um, and a feeling of finally knowing and having affirmation that we were here. Mm. Yeah. Why did, why did you decide to bring your 12-year-old son on this trip? This trip was mostly for him, actually, because I think that the world kind of emphasizes slavery and that part of black history. And I just really want him to come away with knowing that he's part of royalty. I want it to be embedded in his soul. And, and I can tell that it's having an impression upon him. His name is Mensa, so that's uh, um, a name you know that's synonymous with West Africa and the Ghana region. Right. But he's here, and um, how, how would you encourage or encourage other parents to make this type of um, educational investment, cultural investment? Um, I mean, I guess on so many different levels. I mean, because who knows how this is going to impact him as a young man moving forward. But there's something in you that said that you wanted to do this. And, and I think that's the part that uh, a lot of other parents kind of want to do it, but may not know if they can or if they should. What was that defining moment for you to say, I'm going to do this? I would say a mixture of things. COVID, post-pandemic, I was just so grateful to be alive. It's been something on my bucket list. When I was having him 12 years ago, like while I was in the delivery room, I actually, I don't know, I spaced out. Maybe it was the, the drugs, but I remember thinking as he was moving through my body that he was moving through chambers in a pyramid. This was actually a thought of mine, and from that time, I always thought I really wanted to bring him to Egypt. As far as parents, other parents go, our children really need to know this about themselves. There's so many influences out there that try to bring them down, make them feel like they're less than. And for me, my son is at a private school where I felt that he wasn't getting the history that he needed. He wasn't getting the affirmation that he's from a strong heritage, a heritage that he could be proud of. It's nothing that's taught in schools, most schools. So having him here, feeling, experiencing it, interacting with it, having these memories impressed upon his mind is so important for our youth, I think. And I would encourage any parent. I didn't have means either. I went through a whole financing thing, but it was so important to me for him to have this experience that I don't care if I have to pay payments for the next six years. <laughs> <laughs> it was that important to me, and I think it's that important to our children. Well, I, well, one, we appreciate you being here and appreciate you uh, trusting us with this experience. Uh, and I know that Freddie is most appreciative and we're most appreciative as well. And, and just glad that, to see, you know, it, it, it takes a lot, a lot of sacrifice, but everybody else does it. You know, everybody else makes those sacrifices and, and does what they need to do. And so you're, you're one who has set a standard and set an example, one for him, but for anyone else who might see this and wonder, you know, wow, can I do this or why should I do this? And, and you have clearly stated why it, it is important to you. And, uh, and so, yeah, so, so I thank you for, for taking a few moments to share with us and, and uh, we appreciate it again. So Thank you. So, this has been the most incredible experience of my life. If I die tomorrow, I'd be happy, completely happy because I cannot really put into words how this makes me feel. Well, Mr. Mensa, yeah. Well, what about you? It's been like, I still can't comprehend it because like, I'm actually in a foreign country. I'm in Egypt and I've never been out in a foreign, in a foreign country before, so yeah. What are some of the things that you've been learning uh, on the trip? Uh, more about the culture, um, stuff like that. Okay. 
being here, because you've seen the, the complexion change from northern Egypt, and then you come here and you see people that share a similar complexion to you. Did that surprise you, or did you already know that was what to expect? That surprised me. Like, I wasn't, I thought it would more be, like, fully Arabic, mm. but it's more African, too. Like... Yeah, like right yeah. here. Like, yeah, come on over here. Yeah, you stand next to each other. Yeah. See, so you're able to see, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's your name? Mustafa. Mustafa. Well, I find out that's the name here. <laughs> that's the one thing that's consistent. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mustafa. Thank you. Uh, so that that's cool, man. I'm, I'm glad to have you here, and I hope that you, when you go back, you tell your friends about your experience because you've yeah. seen it firsthand, you know? So when somebody tries to tell you something different, you can say, well, no, I've been there. I've been, uh, do they do they teach this type of history in your school? No, not really, no. Okay, what what type of history do you learn, if, if you can think of it off the top of your head? Um, there is Black History Month where we do Black History Month research projects and stuff like that. Other history stuff, hmm. Well, so far we haven't done history that much. Okay. Actually, well, that's so. real. That's that's the fact that you're having to take the time to think about it is uh is is you know kind of telling the, the story a little bit with um with Black history. Is it primarily American Black history that you learn, or yeah. you're learning global Black history? Because mostly American Black okay. history. Okay, and that's important, black history, but then there's so much more history, you know, as you come here and you see. So, well, that's cool, man. I'm glad to have you on the trip, and we hope that this is the first of many. There's so much more. I hope I hope that this takes you and, and inspires you to explore the world because some of your greatest forms of education will come by way of you exploring the world, taking the books and using the books for what they're worth, but then also going and seeing for yourself. So I'm glad to have you here. Thank All you. right?